Well, good afternoon. I think it's somewhere around noon time. I have to pull up my phone to see for sure. It, uh, it is thirty. Yeah, it's uh, twelve seventeen. So it's a little bit afternoon. Been working for a few hours this morning, doing some electrical work and some framing work. I got the, you know, the the studs put in up there in the triangle so I can fill that in. I added an electrical box over here for two uh, receptacles. That just has to be, uh, I have to connect those up. And then uh, later on I will connect it off of that box there. That will be the feed. I also put in a collar tie up there. One down at the other end. And another one right there. And then I hung the ceiling fan box. That's the one with the braces on it. And it's got wire run to it. I pulled wire a little bit short because I was standing over here. I had the uh, scaffold going the other direction, but it didn't reach all the way over because I was working pulling the wire up. And I didn't push enough wire through there, but uh, that's okay. It's a junction box, so I can put pigtails in there to connect the, the ceiling fan and light. I have the wire pulled down through, and also I have it stapled periodically so it's up out of the way. Not that you really don't have to, but the wires run through into that box there. This uh, box is not yet connected. I cut way more wire than I really need, but I'm not connected. Uh, this will go into the uh, panel box later, whenever I feel like it. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I pulled a switch leg in. Uh, here's the uh, pigtail for these. This light and this light are going to be switched. I'm going to have to work that little situation out because I don't want those receptacles to go off when I flip the switch off. So I'll just I'll work out that feed. It's a simple thing. And of course I drop the wire down and put a switch in a box. And so that will work once I tie these in. I just have to uh, slow down, stop, think a little bit. And yes, I will put the circuit breaker off before I start working in there. But I want this lamp and this lamp switched. That lamp is going to be on a pole chain. And uh, so that will be in the utility room so I can just pull the string and pull it on so I can work in the panel if I need to or whatever we need to do inside. I also took the modem and the router and the base for the phone and hung everything up on the board so that's all up and nice and neat and out of the way. This is just a LAN cable to connect a uh, laptop to if I need to come up here and do something on a, with a LAN cable. But uh, So that's all straightened up and nice and neat. Uh, my next step is going to be take all this stuff that's over here. <coughs> Oop, tripping over there, hose here. Take all this stuff and move it over here so that we will be ready Saturday morning to start down low with the uh, bead match boards. Uh, put the ceiling up and we'll, we'll work our way up. Um, some of this stuff I'm going to get out of here so it's less to move when we get to the point where we need to move this stuff. Uh, we'll figure that out later. I'm not worried about it right now. But uh, for now, I'm pretty much done in. I'm going to uh, go cool off, relax. It's pretty toasty up here. Well, I'll tell you what, I've had my hands up in there working. And it's much hotter up above the insulation than it is in here where I'm standing. And it's still warmer up here than it is down below. But anyway, that's it. Just a little update. Uh, we're going to call this, uh, uh, <clears throat> I guess this will be part two for the, uh, I don't know. No, maybe those will just be miscellaneous electrical. Uh, but this is all preparation for uh, putting in the, the bead match ceiling. So maybe I'll just call this part two for the bead match. Because part one was getting the bead match here. Hopefully, we'll have enough people here, and I'm pretty sure when we get cranking that we'll be able to get this all done and, uh, in one day. If not, it'll be extremely close to being done in one day. But it's going to be fun. Got a little bit more work to do. Like I said, I've got to get a lot of this stuff out of the way or out of here. And um, just uh, I've pretty much got everything done that I wanted to get done before the ceiling went up inside so the next step is you know maybe a little bit of outside work just to um, do something or if the weather will cooperate 
tomorrow morning I'd like to put the bass boat in the fishing kayak, my Old Town Predator 13, which I was going to do this morning, but it looked like rain, and it never actually did rain. Oh, well, <clears throat> later on, folks. Oh, yeah, the reason I put the receptacle up so high, because as I mentioned in a previous, in the uh, insulation uh, uh, clips, I want to put a, a um, gable end vent fan up here, and the chances are pretty good that I'll be able to just plug them in instead of having to hardwire it. Or I can hardwire it right there, but now i got a receptacle. It's up out of the way of anything that I might have on the floor, but legally I can't put anything in front of the panel anyway. Anyway, that's it. I'm done babbling. I'm going to go have some lunch, cool off, and uh, just chill. Life is good. God is awesome. And we'll see you next time, fans. Bye-bye. Yeah, freaking burr, man. Somebody turned summer off again. It's, uh, well, here we are, 6.55 a.m. I've been up since like 3 o'clock this morning. Anyway, yep, we went from uh, almost 90 and high humidity yesterday and the day before to uh, a cold north wind low humidity which is a blessing but uh, holy cow it's cold my fingers are numb already i gotta put some gloves on here anyway today is friday tomorrow we're putting the beadboard up getting some ceiling started i am going to spend a few hours just getting stuff moved out of the way because we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up <clears throat> uh probably going to have one or two people here on the loft and maybe one or two people down there and working up on the scaffold. Uh, we'll have to see how that works. But uh, i got to get some stuff cleaned up. I'm going to uh, pick up some stuff on the floor because the last couple of days I've just been flinging stuff off the, uh, off the uh, loft here as I uh, make trash. But uh, we're going to pick up a few things, get organized so that uh, we can get going. And with the temperature so low and it being dry, I might just go ahead and do a little bit more insulating on the walls here. Uh, that's entirely possible. That would be good if I could... Uh, I think I've got enough... I've got enough 6-inch. i got part of one roll and I think two others yeah I got two others in part of one roll I can get most of this wall done I think and uh, yeah that would be pretty cool because I'm not going to be doing much of anything else in here I'll just have to leave this pocket open here so I can tie in that receptacle for that batch over there but uh, that's not a big deal wires already pulled all we have to do is get the wire into that box um, yeah Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, put down the camera, turn up the radio, and uh, get busy with it. Back in a little bit. All right, Saturday morning. We got it going on. Me and Rosemary. Say hi, Rosemary. Hi. We are up here putting the uh, loft ceiling up. Let me get you over here. This just looks terrific with that bead and everything in here and we're not worried about the seams a little bit of gaps here and there not too bad she looks fantastic and over here on the south side we have Pastor Tim and Lisa poking along <laughs> they haven't even got the first course in this yet <laughs> but that's okay because they have to play with ladders and scaffold and planks and stuff, and it's a little slower going. And that's the side you're going to see the most, so uh, Tim is taking extra special care to try to get it straight. Which we mostly, muchly, not mostly, we muchly appreciate. Okay, we got another board coming up here in just a couple minutes. Me and Rosemary are going to be nailing it up, and here it comes. I'm going to let you see us work. Let's put the camera over here. Uh, let's see if I can get this in frame. There we go. Just like that. This goes up. What? You're upside down. Oh my word. 
Another hole in the insulation. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Go down there and butt it in. Yeah, that was me. Okay, yeah, we have some undulations here we have to deal with. has been going much easier than that. So we're going to go 73 and a half. Alrighty. We're going to get this next board cut. Be back in a bit. Well, it is lunchtime. I think it's uh, 12.30, 1.30. No wonder my stomach's growling. And uh, Rosemary and I have been banging it out up here. We have, I don't even know how many courses, but well, we're up to the uh, we're up to the circuit panel. We're almost up to the lights, and uh, that's over six feet off the floor now. So we've been banging it out, and it just looks fantastic. Tim and Lisa have been over doing the uh, south side, and they got it going. They have the more difficult side because that's the side that everybody's going to see all the time. So Tim has been taking extra special care to make sure it looks not too wavy because the rafters aren't straight. Well, the rafters are straight, but they they undulate. But we got it going on. It's really coming together really nice. Lunchtime, going to get some couple burgers and some salad and if I don't tighten up and get too stiff while we're eating, I will uh, be back up here after lunch. Later, folks. Well, it's almost 6 o'clock in the evening. And we are almost... Sorry for the light. We are almost at the peak. I think we have five or six courses left to finish the north side of the roof, which was the side everything's done off scaffolds and ladders and the most difficult side. My neighbor's daughter Rosemary and I did this side, the north pitch, and we got this far before we broke for lunch at about one o'clock and I decided because this side was only, I don't know, six or seven courses before lunch that uh, I said let's just uh, put some the three people that know the most about this including me, uh, and we banged out row after row after row after row, and we got this far in about three hours. Pretty darn happy with the progress. It's, it looks absolutely amazing. It's just beautiful. Uh, well, I will do what I can on this side over here. Uh, because I'm on the floor for probably another half a dozen courses. I can cut around these electrical boxes, which I'm going to pull the boxes and tilt them down so that uh, I'll, I'll put them on a, a wedge so that the, the light will actually be horizontal 
or the box will be horizontal, the light will be vertical. Uh, I'll do that with all three. Uh, of course, I've got to uh, do the wiring for the switch leg here and then run another uh, uh, wire down to that box and tie in power for the receptacles. Uh, there's two receptacles there and there's another box over here for two more receptacles because uh, I want those hot all the time so that they don't get turned off when I switch the lights off. That one will be dedicated. Always, uh, it's got its own source and it's on a pull string. We call it a pull chain fixture. Uh, then I've got to get this one wired in and then that will wire, send power up to that box for the ceiling fan, which will also have a light. And it's pretty much centered in the middle of the middle of the roof. I didn't take measurements. I'm not worried about that box. will actually slide back and forth a little bit on that bar. But we're there. We're done for the day. Uh, my church family is absolutely fantastic. A guy couldn't ask for better. And, and again, there was, uh, let's see, Pastor Tim, Steve, and me were the most experienced in construction. Uh, George and his wife Lisa were, uh, Lisa was up on the scaffolding helping Pastor Tim do that side until lunch. Uh, Rosemary, the youngest daughter, and I were worked on this, this side and got this far until lunch. And we probably got another, I don't know, 10 rows to get up to the top. Then we have some tricky cuts to make because there's going to be, a, you see these boards going across, we're going to have to do some angled cuts, beveled cuts, rip cuts on these boards to make things look nice or just put it together as good as we can and use trim to cover it. But it'll be better if it's we do that right and Tim and Steve are the ones who know what they're doing there. I'm tired. My leg is sore from my right knee is so I probably sprained it from up and down the ladder. There was another um, painter's uh, uh, scaffold. It's four feet long and two feet high and up and down of that. And I think I sprained my knee, but I'm sore. I can walk in with a limp now, but God is so awesome. He gave me an awesome church family. We got so much work done today. This is just, just amazing. Now, if you look carefully, you can see the undulations when you look down the edges. But when you get underneath of it and you look up, you don't really notice it. It disappears. Uh, as you can see, we did butt joints with beveled cut, uh, beveled edges on the ends that matches the bevel here in the seam on the bead. So uh, it looks, it just looks fantastic. It looks absolutely fantastic. So I've got to get cleaned up. In spite of having a monster lunch, burgers and potato salad and a little bit of dessert, uh, my biological family is, uh, we're all going out for uh, seafood tonight. So I'll get with you later on. And uh, like I said, probably Monday I'll pick it up and work on this side, get up as far as I can until I need to be on the scaffolding and then I'll see how I feel. But anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy the show. Life is good. God is awesome. And I am blessed beyond belief. See you later, folks.